Hey y'all, so today I'm redoing my swamp milkweed garden. That's right, I said it, my swamp milkweed garden is getting a redo again. I know I just did it, didn't I? <gasps> but my channel is called Butterfly Gardening Inspirations for a reason and I had an inspiration. Let me go show you. So you know how I put all my swamp milkweed in this area by my garden bench? Well, what I'm thinking is I'm going to take it all out. Mm -hmm, that's right, you heard me. I'm going to take it all out. And then I'm going to dig out all the areas where my swamp milkweed is. I have some old pond liner, and I'm going to put a sheet of pond liner in and then refill it and replant so the pond liner will not allow the water to drain quickly and therefore it should be more swampy what do you think do you think it's going to work it's going to be a lot of work digging that all out but i think it's going to be worth it in the end you know on the milkweed it's asclepius incarnata it says it will grow anywhere and it will but it prefers a swamp and I want it to be in its best condition for my butterflies and caterpillars, don't I? I think I do. So I'm gonna try and make my own swamp. Let's go make a swamp. So first, that's right, I'm gonna pull out all of my swamp milkweed and set it somewhere else. Okay, so I do believe I've piled up all of my swamp milkweed. And now comes the fun part of digging this all out. So I'm going to create kind of an unusual shape. I still want my trail going through. So that's going to be higher. And then I'm going to dig out this section here. And then right beside the trail where that stone is, I'm going to start this side. And it's just going to kind of go over and up a little bit, kind of like a little curve. So I'm gonna go get my shovel and start digging. I'm gonna move this stone right here so I can like sneak in here and I'll have the two stones right there for my feet and I can just sit here surrounded by my swamp milkweed that probably still won't have caterpillars on it because I'll still take them all in because, I don't know, I just can't resist. There's a beautiful monarch right there. Let me go show you. As I'm doing this, I'm finding a ton of these salvias coming up in my future swamp. So I'm digging them up and sticking them in little pots that I have sitting around my garden that just happened to be empty. Like I just did this one here and now I'm about to make another one. So now I've made three. I still haven't even started digging yet. I'm just digging up all these salvias and <laughs> moving them. <laughs> Okay, y'all, the hole for the first swampy section is dug. Look at my fabulous pile of dirt. So because swamp milkweed roots don't grow too deep, um, I made it two shovel scoops deep. And then I'll put the pond lining in and then I'll put in a shovel a layer and then I'll set in all these in and then I'll tuck them all in. I'm going to lay the pond liner in strips so there will be a little space between for some drainage. I don't want it to be a mud hole. I just want to slow the drainage down a little bit and I'm sure you're noticing. Look what's in the shot. I'm telling you this little guy manages. It's like I don't even think about it but there it is. <laughs> 
So here's my pond liner. You can buy this anywhere. Amazon probably has it. I've had this forever. We used to have one of those pond kits. Remember how popular those were years ago? Anyway, this is left over from that. So I'm just going to use my Living Go scissors and I'm going to just cut some strips of this and go lay them in the bottom of my swamp. And there we go. I'm going to fill it in halfway, place my plants, and then tuck them in with soil. Whew, and that one will be done. All right, now I'm going to go get my hose going and water it in to let all the air spaces close and the dirt settle down. And see if I need to add some more dirt before I start putting my pile of swamp milkweed in. I'm just walking down to turn on my hose, but this is going to be the fun part because I love making mud. Mm -hmm. Ask me sometime about what I did for my kids when they were little. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's holding water. I mean, it's seeping slowly, but it's slowing it down for sure. I can't resist. I have to stomp in it. <laughs> so, y'all, I've gone a little crazy. So, there's my swamp over there. And I have my island. Yeah, I'm going to have an island. And then this one's turning out to be a lot larger than I originally planned because I just kept going and there were some things living here that I just dug up and moved. So I got a lot of digging to do still, but I just wanted to pause a minute and update you. So there's going to be a swamp and the island and another little swamp. The big swamp and the little swamp. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, this is a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. I could eat some serious desserts tonight and get away with it, but I think it's going to be fabulous. So here's the second hole, which I kind of got tired of doing. So I've actually moved back over here and started putting in some of the plants. And I'm just setting them in there, and then I'll fill in the soil around them. It's so funny how some of them are growing back already. It's December and they think it's spring, but I'll take it. Okay, I have them all placed. And now I'm just going to hand fill them in. Alright, this side is planted, and this side is getting its plastic lining. Yeah, look, a beautiful sulfur butterfly. <gasps> Y'all, Ray just went into the puddle. Oh, I wish I would have got that on video. Oh my gosh, she is muddy. Her <laughs> whole bottom half of her little body. <laughs>
And there we go. All set, all done. Just gonna go water them in, let the dirt settle. I'm ready for spring. I'm so ready. So excited.